All right, ladies, I'm going to show you how to get your stave silos working on WSB here to work with Maze Plus. And this is the only thing I found so far. I am starting a new save. I'm going to play through it to learn Maze Plus and get uh, used to it a little bit more. So with that being said, I will have this XML down in the description. You guys can download it, copy, paste it. It'll be simple. I'll show you how here in a second, but this is what Maze Plus uh, forgot about. They forgot to put it into production plane. So down here, you're going to have to change the input and output types of any other silos that you would like to use that are not made to work with Maze Plus. And chop maize is the same thing as chaff, corn, whatever, down to fermented corn silage. Now the big difference is Corn silage and grass silage is completely different, haylage, whatever you want to call it. So in this production, I called it grass silage because we're grabbing grass windrow and it turns it into grass fermented, which the Lua needs to know those names. But down here for haylage, it is semi-dry grass windrow to grass fermented. So they're both putting out grass silage, haylage, what you would like. And then the earlage works just fine. So once you have the production point in, you're also going to need to get everything in the capacity storage area to work right. So after you have the storage area done, you're going to look at your loading station. Also, this is what the output is. So we need the fermented, chopped maize, fermented, grass, fermented, and CCM because that's what I have right here for output. And then under your selling station, that is what you input. I realized I left space there. I'll just save that one quick for you guys. And with this, we have the input all here. Now, this is Maze Plus Bunker Silo XML. So with the bunker silos, you would be able to put in grass windrow, semi-dry grass windrow, into the same bunker and ferment it all to um, haylage, grass silage, whatever you'd like to call it. And same way with up here, you'd have chopped maize, which then you could have the sugar beet and all that stuff with it too. But this is all we need to worry about right now. And I'll jump into game once, show you guys what I mean. Here we have corn silage, which is fresh maize. It comes down to maize silage. You're going to need that for their mixing ratios, along with grass silage, which I have grass for input and grass semi-dry for input, which will come down to grass silage. So you'll fill both of them, and you'll have to activate both of these in order to get grass silage. They both do not have to be activated at, at once, so it gives you a little bit of playtime the way the drying works with the grass. Now, in case you miss it, you can still put it in as haylage. Then earlage works the same way. That would be raw cornmeal, fermented cornmeal. So then we are going to come back out, and I'm going to show you guys exactly where to put it in the Westby map folder. I named mine version 2 so I could remember where it's at. Once you guys extract the map, you're going to get rid of the zip copy that you have. Put it in a folder. That's why I have work in progress moved. It needs to get out of the mods folder. Once you have moved the zip file out, make sure you leave the unzip file in your mods folder. Then you're going to open it. Once we open it, we're going to go to Placeables A, then go to Silo. The only thing in here you need to do is hit Paste. It will overwrite the Stave XML, and that is it. Once you overwrite it, you guys can test in game quick. If you like it, zip it back up, put it on your MP server, whatever you will. And then you guys are good to go. So short little video here just to help you guys out. And I hope everything works for you. But this is the one and only file I've found so far that we need to change for the silos. Later on, 
Um, I hope to have time to work on the pastures to incorporate the pasture grazing. That's going to take a little bit more time and a lot of pastures on West B to update for that. I will keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Until next time.